Hi guys, I hope that you are all well. Um, today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial, kind of. Uh, I say kind of because obviously I'm not like a professional but I just love doing my makeup so and I did this makeup look whilst I was on holiday and absolutely loved it so much but stupidly I forgot to take a picture so I don't know exactly what <laughs> I used and I have a really rubbish memory so I am just going to go and try and do it as best as I can so wish me luck <laughs> I'm just going to do some basic um, skincare first like I always do this to be honest every day um, I just use some exfoliating pads to get rid of any texture on my skin so I'm going to be using the Clearasil Ultra 5-in-1 Cleansing Pads um, these are probably aimed for more teenage skin but I don't know if you could see but there's some like breakouts on the skin and these uh, fights 5 pimple problems reduces oil and shine and blocks pores even skin tones removes dirt and exfoliates so I just use I use two of these a day to be honest, I use one in the morning and one at night but at the moment it is half eleven so I'm a bit late on that and that's what it look like there's quite a lot in there to be honest, there's 65 pads so about a month one of them will last you about a month if you do use them twice a day so And now I turn it over and use the other side because they're both the both sides are like exfoliating. Next I am gonna be using a lip scrub. It doesn't matter what lip scrub you have. I used to use the one from Lush, the bubblegum one, but I found that it was really hard to get into the pot. So I bought this, which is oh, there is makeup on it. Ew. <laughs> Um, the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in the flavour Spearmint, which personally for me, I think Spearmint is so much better than like Peppermint. And have you seen how much you get? And the thing's quite wide, so it's good. Oh my god, it smells so good. I don't really know if you can eat this because it's got stuff in it. And I don't really like the idea of licking my dead skin off my lips and eating it. So then I just go back in with the pad that I used and just wipe it off. Then I'm just going to moisturise. I use the number 7 Beautiful Skin Day Cream Normal 2 Oily. Now this has an SPF in it. So I don't know if that helps with the oiliness or doesn't. But I like it and it's also sun cream. My primer is going to contradict my foundation because my foundation is more of a glowy foundation that makes my skin glow. Um, but my primer is a Prime Shield Mattifying Primer. But I don't think I found a primer that really does mattify my skin. So we're just going to roll with it. This is the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer Mattifying and Pore Minimising Oil Free. Then for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Foundation. Sorry, all the French is like mixed up with the English, so I was going to say Fond de Tient. Tient Eclatant. Radiant Complexion up to 16 hours, which is a total lie, especially on my skin. It just, the amount of times I've had to use like blotting papers, but you know. Um, and I am using the shade 52 Vanilla, might be a little bit dark, especially because I haven't fake tanned. And then I'm going to beauty blender it into my skin. Don't get me wrong, I do like a nice glowy skin, but I kind of feel like, especially on my skin like type, um, it can go from looking glowy to oily really quickly 
and I just like a, look like a sweaty mess. It's just not good. Then I'm going to be using the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. This is in the shade number one. I've used this once, I think, maybe twice. Um, I still don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. That's what it looks like. Might be a, bit, a little bit too light for me with this foundation, but we're just going to go over the dark circles and then use a beauty blender to blend it out. I don't know about it. It's good, but every time I use it, I have to use another, not another foundation, another concealer on the top. And just because I'm that extra. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in Vevey Fair just to kind of highlight this portion of my face. And I like this as well because it smells like tropically coconut y stuff. I really like to highlight this better. Oh, hello, son. Then I am going to powder by using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. I have hit pan on this, so I need to get a new one soon. Um, I bloody love this so much. Um, then I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Then I am going to be using the MAC Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush in the shade Peachy Keen. Looks like these. And the Morphe B3 brush. Then I am going to just bronze up my face using the Makeup Academy Bronze Perfection Shimmer. Looks like that, and just a stippling brush. This is just one from Wilco. Then after that, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight in the light one. And for that, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt brush. I'm going to be using the Sculpt shade to carve those cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then do a slight contour of the nose. Um, then I'm just going to be using the highlight shade that's in it and a Real Techniques setting brush. I do have a fan brush, but I kind of prefer this brush for it. Now I am just going to be filling in my brows using my favourite Anastasia. Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. I don't really have dark, but I do have dark hair, but my hair could be a lot darker. Let's just say that. I think I'm going to be needing a new one soon. So I use the Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown just to set them. I don't really like the wand of it, but it's all I got. Now to prime my eyes, I do have eyeshadow primer, but I don't know. 
I just like using concealer if I'm honest with you. And then I just like to set with my face powder. Now the palette that I am going to be using today is the Huda Beauty Textured Shadows Palette, the Rose Gold one. I have just heard some sad news that this is limited edition, which is so sad. But it's not all sad news because they're bringing you get a new palette, which I will definitely get my hands on because this palette is absolutely beautiful. I took this on holiday with me and I butchered it. Oh my god. It might not look it because I'm quite neat like that, but... <gasps> oh, just beautiful. Oh my god, beautiful. So, what I am going to be doing is... I am going to be using the shade in it called Bay, which is like a creamy colour. Just put that all over my lid. This is the Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush shade called Shy, which is like a mauvey pink colour. And just build it up in the crease. Then I am going to take um, the shade called Sandalwood. Uh, which is like a camel kind of colour but that put that into the crease don't put any higher just like that then with the morphe b39 which is a lot flatter oh there's a Stray brush here in there. I'm going to be using a mixture of the shades Bossy and Coco. Bossy is more of a kind of maroony brown, whereas Coco is a brown. But I'm not going to take a lot. But keeping the space on my lid free. And then go back in with the blending brush and sandalwood and a mixture of sandalwood and shy and just buff that out a bit more. And now for my favourite part, using the uh, shadows that are at the top. Um, they are so, so beautiful and I'm going to be using my finger for this because that's how you get the best pigment in them and I'm going to be using the shade called Fling which is a red just watch this swatch <gasps> look at that swatch <gasps> then back in with the blending brush that we have been using and use the shade Bossy, the more maroony one. Just kind of blend the glitter in with the eyeshadow. Sorry if the lighting is going really weird, but the sun keeps coming out and then going away. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Go Colossal Chaotic Mascara. Now what I'm going to, to attempt to do a winged liner. I don't really know how well this is going to go. So wish me luck. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. My fave. Just gonna roll with it because I know that frustrates the hell out of me. If you wanted to, you could just obviously put eyeshadow underneath the eye and put a lip on, and that would be it. But I don't want to do that. I want the lashes. So I am gonna be using my favourite lashes of all time, ever. They're the Huda Beauty, no surprise there. 
Um, oh, uh, ew. Um, lashes in Scarlet, which is number eight. I think these are absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's what they look like. Look how beautiful. I can't get them out. Oh no. Don't you hate it when you put too much glue on? And it just ends up going absolutely everywhere. Urgh. The most that is just getting tacky. Um, I'm just going to be doing eyeshadow underneath my eye. So I'm just going to be using a mixture of bossy and sandalwood underneath the eye. Kind of smoke it out. More bossy than sandalwood then. Dramatic! Mm. Obviously the glue will dry clear but you know. And, and do exactly the same with the other eye. While we wait for those to dry so I can put some liner over the top and just hide the lash band. Um, I'm just going to be putting a coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm not going to put any liner in my waterline because I think these are quite dramatic. Anyway, now onto the lips. You could pair this with a nude lip, 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 lipstick, liquid lipstick, um, a gloss, um, just anything you want really. It's just makeup. But I thought, seeing as I've got hood out on my eyes, hood out lashes, it's only right that we do a hood and lip. Now I was considering, I don't know whether to do because I have two, um, do a red on red, I think I'm going to do red on red, or I have um, a nudie brown, but I'm just going to roll with red because I can. So these come as a set, this is in the shade called Heartbreaker, you get the lip contour which is so unbelievably creamy like ridiculous and then um, you get the actual liquid matte lipstick um, which smells like coconut and like Malibu the drink if you know that so I am just going to oh I can't get it off um, line my lips I'm just going to finish with the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Um, I did have the Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, but I don't really know where that's gone. So we're just gonna. The nozzle was the wrong way around. No more wet. And there we have the finished makeup look. I am dying over these lips. Oh my god. And they match my nails. This is just Avon. I think it's just called Red. Mm. I will leave everything linked below of all the stuff that I have used, even though I did say. But just in case you weren't listening, it's down below for you. Um, if you do recreate this, just tag me on Instagram or any of my social media links below I will leave them below um, yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe and I will see you next time bye